I do not sell and I do not promote the products in this video. This video is based on my own opinion and this video is for educational purpose only. Strictly not for under 21 years old below. Lastly, this video is not for Malaysia. Ta -da! What up guys, welcome to my channel ALDV Blog. So today in these videos, I will review about this Jelly Box uh, Nano version 4, which is the Rinko device. But before I start these reviews, I'm not selling this device. I'm not promoting this device. This is just a review purpose. So right now, let's just talk a bit about this device. This is a Jelly Box version 4 by Rinko. So the material of this device is aluminium plus PC. PC, which means it's a plastic a bit. Nah. They got mixed a bit with the plastic and also aluminium alloy. Beside the net, there is only one button right here. Okay, for this button, you can adjust the wattage from 5 until 30 watt max. But it depends on which uh, cartridge you all are using. So the pre-built cartridge is 0 0.8. So whenever when you pop inside the cartridge, it will detect the best wattage for you all. So for the cartridge, uh, currently it's hitting on 12 watt. So when you pop, uh, example, when you press this three times to adjust the wattage. Okay, let's just try more higher wattage. Example, like you try to press it full wattage, 30 watt, and then you insert this cartridge. It will right best in between how many wattage and then it suggests me 12 watt uh, sometimes it suggests me 8 watt sometimes it suggests me 12 watt it's depending on the ohm maybe the pre-built inside is 0 0.8 ohm so without wasting our time still got a lot of features that i want to tell you let's take a look more closer all right first of all this is how the packaging looks like right here it writes rinko jelly box nano version 4 okay this is a 4 1 one V is a four. And then right here at the side, it got rice. Uh, Manto Nano Port cartridge compatible. RDL and MTL adjustable airflow. Airflow system. And then uh, 1400 milliamp battery. So three teams option, which is you can adjust. I'll teach you later. Basically inside this packaging, you just receive this card and also this uh, user manual. Last but not least, one of the device and also this 0 0.8 ohm cartridge. Beside than that, they got extra different types of cartridge, which is compatible as well. Uh, mesh 0 0.5 which is for you all to play more sub-ohm. And then this one is 1 ohm, more flavoring. Okay, talking about the color option, what I received from Rinko is this silver color. Uh, they got this pink color, purple color, and last but not least, this green color. But mostly if a guy, maybe we take this silver color, it's nice. Inside the chipboard, very detailed, very nice chipboard inside. At the side, adjustable airflow, close and open, you want MTL or RDL. And then at the back, it writes uh, Jelly Box Nano version 4 designed by Rinko. And then this side, charging port. There's a dot right here, but it's not a button. So there is no place for you all to, oh there, yeah, right here, for you all to hang your lanyard. So inside of the cartridge, looks like this, right? And then put back, and then it will say uh, 0 0.8 ohm best. Uh, how many watt to how many watt so very simple the button you press how many times also got function if you long press it will fire uh you press uh, see these teams okay press two times to adjust the teams in between uh this like this okay example for this one long press okay this one different okay when you press the fire button it's a jet the third one so press longer this one is a ufo Right, and then you press uh one two three to adjust the wattage until the max is thirty watt. But I'm using this uh cartridge. They just give you eighteen watt max. Right, so if you take out this cartridge, you can maximize the wattage until thirty. So you pop this back on. Best is thirteen until eighteen. It will give you 16. Sometimes it will give you 8 watt. Sometimes it will give you 12 watt. And right now it gives me 16 watt. Okay. Let's just try. 1, 2. To change the teams and see. Is it related to the teams? I'm not sure. Okay. 16 watt. Okay. Take out. Put it back on. Okay. Still remain 16 as well. By right now. So you press uh 4 times. 1, 2, 3, 4. To lock this device. See. There's a lock button right here. Right, lock button, one, two, three, four, to unlock. Press five times, one, two, three, four, five, to adjust the power. This, this one is switch off. This one is clear path. And then this is the lightning. Uh, lighting, you press longer. No, and yes. So press longer to exit. So right now, 
this is a light, got a small, very round LED light right here. Ah, see, when you press the fire button. RGB light. Basically, compare with the previous, all those wrinkle, not bad as well. But this one is like a very cyberpunk ergonomic device. The design actually looks very futuristic and it's just simple, square. Not that simple, but it's simple. Looks nice. Everything just feels very cyberpunk and quality device. So for this device, you can either use auto draw or you can use uh, the fire button. So now let's just head back to the home screen. I'm going to try and see about the performance. So, all right, guys. Uh, in case if, if you're all asking me why I changed this setup, I was just recording with my new phone, uh, which is the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Uh, this camera actually not bad at all. Right now, it's front-facing camera. The footage, I'm currently recording in 4K 30 frames per second. And then just now, overhead cam. We just talked a bit about gadget as well, okay? So, I'm just using this. Ah, uh, this is my stand. See? I just put it at the table, overhead camera. And then I was using the back camera, cinematic mode. Clear. Very, very clear. I don't even use mic at all. See? So, iPhone 16 Pro Max actually, the performance really, really can challenge with the all those DSLR that previously I'm using. Uh, so, right now, when I try this device, I'm going to blur it. Okay? So, let's just try and see about the performance. Currently, hitting on 16 watt. Draw activation. Full wide airflow. Oh. <sighs> Not bad. Cloud production actually okay because the 0 0.8 actually is focusing on flavoring. But I currently put in a free base uh, from Indonesian. Okay, free base from Indonesian, which is the Sonix Magenta Squash. Not bad. Performance very, very good. So let's just try to increase the wattage. Okay, 1 to 3. And then the max is also 18 watt max. Okay, so let's just try and see. Draw activation. Nice cloud. Okay, press the fire button. Full white airflow. Even though it's a compatible cartridge, which is uh, same as the previous Rinko jelly box cartridge, but what I can feel actually for this device, the performance is different a little bit, slightly a little bit, which is no delay at all. For the draw activation, there's no delay. For the fire button, there's no delay as well. Very, very fast. And then the wattage range, they can give you adjust by your own self and you can feel that from what I can tell you all about the wattage is very very accurate uh, in between 16 18 you can feel the difference example like right now let's just try to adjust a little bit more lower wattage example like 11 watt let's try and see what's the difference in between 11 and 18 Really different. Each of the digit, the wattage is different. 11 watt, you cannot feel so much power. So if you're trying to use 0 0.8, I recommend you all use uh, the recommendation in between 12 is okay as well. 11 is a little bit low, but 11, if you close the airflow, close the airflow, just left a little bit home. Let's just try and uh, use draw activation. Not bad. So there are still other colors besides then this silver. This one is like more girlish, a little bit of pink color. And then this one is a purple color, green color. It depends on your own preference. So I think that's all that I want to tell you about this Ringo. It's not Manto, it's Jelly Box Nano version 4. Rating for port kit device like this one, uh, from 1 star until 5 star. 5 star. So guys, before I end out these videos, remember, I'm not selling. I'm not promoting. It's just based on my own opinion for these reviews. And hope you all understand for all of this kind of device, is strictly not for under 21. That's all for today's reviews. Adios. Ta-da!